The 1947 Roosevelt Dominion MS68 full bands condition is indeed a scarce and valuable coin. The full bands designation indicates that the horizontal bands on the torch on the reverse of a coin are well defined and fully separated. This is a desirable attribute sought by collectors as it signifies a strong strike quality. While the 1947 Roosevelt Dom is not considered as scarce as some earlier dates, finding one in MS68 full bands condition is challenging. Coins in such high grades are relatively scarce due to the difficulty of achieving and maintaining flawless surfaces and strong strikes. The attractive toning also adds up to overall eye appeal and value of the coin. This dime was extraordinarily appealing, ended up selling for $2,160 in July 2023. Here is 1932D Washington Quarter in MS65 condition. The 1932D has long been regarded as a key to the series since it's clearly more elusive and better meat state grades than its closest competitor, the 1932S. Russet and jade green toning crosses the upper borders of this one. Light sky blue, lime, and salmon pink coloration further augments the eye appeal. The strike is penetrating, although the lower half of the date does not possess absolute definition. Luster dazzles when this piece is rotated beneath a light. Examination beneath a loop finds only inconsequential blemishes. It was sold for $13,800. Here is 1953 Lincoln Center State 67 Red. Coin collecting was on an upswing in 1953 when this cent was produced. 117,500 of these cents could have been used to purchase a color television. The cost of sets when they were first available for sale this year being $1,175. The Philadelphia mintage of 1953 cents consisted of almost 257 million coins. But a very limited number of them have reached such superb gem level. A blazing orange example, the super gem, features a strong strike and rich luster. The coin is virtually free of even tiniest carbon spots, adding to the appeal. It was bargained for $14,100. The 1954S is one of the lowest mintage dates in Franklin Half Dollar series with just under 5 million pieces. Most examples are softly struck without full bell lines. When found, the typical full bell lines examples were grade MS64 or MS65 and only occasionally is a premium gem offered. This specimen is in MS67 condition with full bell lines. This piece strays from its two top grade counterparts in that it is nearly brilliant with only light champagne hue over each side. The preservation is exceptional and the strike is bold. It was sold for $13,853.25. Moving on with this 1968S Canada of dollar coin is representative of numismatic perfection as it achieved the highest grade available, proof 70, with deep cameo designation from PCGS. Glorious silver-white surfaces are as struck, pristine, and possessed of sharp feel to device contrast. The first proof half dollar struck since 1964, the 1968 is also the first in U.S. coinage history produced at the San Francisco Mint. While this is a high mintage issue with examples plentiful in numismatic circles, precious few possesses both the deep cameo finish and expertly preserved surfaces required to secure coveted proof 70 deep cameo grade from PCGS. It ended up selling for $24,000. This is an outstanding 1936 Walking Liberty of Dollar graded as PR67 Plus by PCGS and proven by CAC. An exceptional superb gem proof with eye appeal that matches the magnificent quality, fully struck and sharply defined with dusting of iridescent silver blue and warm bronze patina. Substantial reflectivity gleams from the fields on such on each side, offering strong contrast with the satiny luster on the devices. It fetched the sum of $26,400 in June 2023. Here is an exceptionally well produced and preserved example of 1950 proof Franklin half dollar issue. 
Untoned surface is set of the remarkable deep cameo finish, silky smooth, a virtually pristine, even the finest collection of this popular 20th century series, would be greatly enhanced by this lovely upper end gem. The 1950 is not only the first proof half dollar of this type, but it is also the most challenging to collect. The mintage of 51,386 proofs is the lowest in this series, and most survivors show considerable evidence of having been poorly made or carelessly handled. This PR66 deep cameo gem ended up selling for $66,000. And the most valuable coin of the present episode, 1910 Lincoln Cent in PR68 red condition, CEC proven superb gem. Reaching a grade of PR68 is a remarkable achievement as it signifies that the coin is nearly flawless, with only minor imperfections visible under magnification. Coins in such high grades are scarce and highly sought after by collectors. The CAC designation is an additional endorsement that indicates that the coin has been verified by Certified Acceptance Corporation, a reputable third-party coin grading company. CAC certified coins have undergone additional scrutiny and are recognized for their exceptional quality within the numismatic community. It ended up selling for... $165,937.50 with buyer's fee. Thanks for watching this video. Please make sure to hit like and subscribe buttons before you watch another video. Have a good one.